Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 40 CCL Grand Final. It's Crucifer versus Oriolensis. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello! Hello everybody, what a game of Blood Bowl we have now. The final, the team of regular guys of Oriolensis versus the Crucifer Last Dance in the CCL Cup. Yeah, yeah, he's having a bit of a break, isn't he, Chris? Now that he's got a got a real life things getting in the yes. way of Blood Bowl dominance. <laughs> yes, I mean the level of dominance of um, Crucifer on the final is so extreme that he was a Blood Bowl roll on a you know the cap no, on a I five mean, plus. No, Crucifer reached the final. Until I'm on a six, he wins the final. You know, so they could end. just, you know, every time uh, a qualifies, roll a d6. If it's ah. a six, just give him the cup and, uh, and start the game. Oh, well, he's on with a double one into a stun. That's something, isn't it? Cheerfying oh. away. Cheerfying away to not get hit by the mighty blow fella. The ball's on the floor. I wonder if, if Oriolensis will try to. Uh, Get something he could. He has he has got a guard of his own, so he could blitz through this guy and get something in the backfield. Be very interesting. Um, oh, this guy is fine here as well. Funnily enough, he's not. Yeah, I am in the final at all levels. Ooh. Finally, my best chance of. Uh... Winning the title. I quite, I quite liked, you know, putting the the guard in and then blitzing him and then uh, trying to come through the middle. Not saying it was right or wrong. Who can say if it was right or wrong? But uh, I quite like that idea. I probably, I might not have had the balls to have done it uh, <laughs> myself. And Odon stayed fantastic for 41 months there. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. I right, 51 months. Unbelievable. 51, yeah, just say 40, 51, unbelievable. And Satterfield 45, absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, guys, and thanks for the sound effect. Good luck. <laughs> Where is PC? I don't know. I don't know. You know, maybe his PC is doing something in real life. Um, but, you know, obviously he's welcome. Or if maybe. He wants to join us. Maybe he doesn't know what time it is. No, no, he's here, he's here. Is this the... reprobate we're discussing that hasn't turned up for this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello. No, it's just me and the lad at the moment, so I had to make him dinner and spend some time with my son. But I am here, I am here and excited. Glorious. What an amazing LOS from Chris, by the way. He did absolutely nothing. And <laughs> double one to GFI with a guy who blitzed. So <laughs> it's weird. Or he's gone down the side here, but... I prefer trying to bust through the middle, TBH. That's a big commitment to one side of the pitch. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, isn't it? I mean, if a Crucifer doesn't grab the ball now, he's in a world of trouble. Oh, wow, and he's not going through the sure hands fella either. Unbelievable, Jeff. Because maybe audiences could use the wizard to get a quicker score. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this might be a this might be a bolt bitch, a literal attempt to try and pull the wizard this early. Mm. Know where he stands with it. I mean, I do think the the high elves. This is as good a shot as they could hope to have, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Christopher had a claw on me, didn't he? Who must be uh, missed next game or dead? Yeah, I think he died. He's got three rookies. Yeah. Which. Which isn't ideal, is it? He hasn't got. It's actually not as uh, not as good a team as you would have thought. Uh, but the strength of guy's good. And yeah, it's got two very very effective bulls. Um, it's got two good hitters. Um, you know, one of which comes with claw, but the other one's still a decent hitter. He has but a lot of tackle. Which is beyond really that, not. you start to look at the hobgoblins, and that's not where you want to be, is it? No, he hasn't got great hobbles. This team was a lot better, wasn't it? But it's it's yeah, it's yeah. been banged on a bit getting here. More or less one death per game. <laughs> yeah. Are they still, you know? Uh, However, yeah, if there's a guy that knows how to win, even with you know 
Kale's dwarves that are not perhaps in an ideal state, it's definitely Crucifer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Bruder machine. Well, the rumor has it that he um, he's actually got a job which has limited his streaming. Yes, instance. it's true. He's a uh, he got a job as a girlfriend, but he's been playing some uh, Blood Bowl during the weekend. I heard that he play Thank a couple of times. Poor Thank, you know, has to oh oh reroll pops on in. He's got to. He's got to. He he can't yeah. not reroll this. Whoa! What a discipline! Mad there. lad. What well, a... I mean, he's got a nice screen up in front of it, but that looks so attackable, doesn't it? It does. There are ways. There are ways to reach the ball. This is this is quite mad arsery. <laughs> there is a certain level of mad arsery to this. Well, I mean, I think this is, again, I can only think he's really hoping to pull a fireball out here. Which, if I was Ori, I'd be very tempted by. Mm. If you can take down any one of the two chorfs um, between the ball and the pack of elves, you're probably all over this. Yeah. And who cares if you've spunked it if you want nil up? It's interesting, isn't it? Mm hmm and again, he can go through the middle here, like he's still got this open to him somewhat, if he wants to try that. There's there's all sorts of things you can do, isn't there? Yes, it's both Dimmy and uh, Mordred pointing out that um, Davo was streaming today and uh, span into Crucifer and managed to beat him 2-1. Mm -hmm. With a little chorf team that looks like it might be trying a late run uh, mm -hmm. for qualifying, but five losses on it now, he'll have to go some. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't like the wizard, really. But, you know, it's, it's a possibility, isn't it? it? It's a possibility. I think, looking at the situation all in our hand, it, it's tricky, isn't it? You you really need a fireball to hit at least two of the three. Bolting, you're not certain to then get to the ball. It's mm, it's yeah, a real like tempter, but... I quite like coming through here. I like this the first turn. To be honest. Okay. I mean, I was thinking similar. I was actually thinking of coming through the central bull, but that may be stronger. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. Yeah. yeah, there's no need to. There's no need to spunk it yet, is there? Well, there is. There. I mean, there's the. There's the option. There's always the option. There. You've. You've always got to think about. Yeah, you do. But I mean, I. I think Shawnee's right. I think you can get some pressure here where defending it next turn is probably even harder even though he will almost certainly pick it up yes he can put a lot of pressure on the ball or just you know in the backfield of uh, crucifer just with a few two pluses although hmm, hasn't sort of started that direction has he mm. he's pulling back and seemingly trying to take on the bulls maybe interesting Wizarding in your pants. Yes, all the time. And he gets the pow. Hellboy says his uh, his insight is that having spoken to Ori the other night, the whiz will be used late or to stop a score. Definitely not on a 50 50 chance of a turnover. Well, there's no 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it, Orelensis. If he thinks, if he thinks, a, if he thinks a lightning bolt is a hundred percent, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. No, he says it's going to be. A, I think he means a hundred percent not know, on a fifty-fifty chance of the turnover. But yes, I see your point. <laughs> um, have we given up some of this advantage by not trying to push down a bit heavier? It's okay, hard, no, it's, it's hard. If you, if you don't blitz, if you don't blitz the claw. Or the other guy, I think it's hard to push down this side anymore. So I think once you've gone that way, then I, I mean the nice thing about this is it's ball. I don't see the point of the guard and not punching the ball. I think you're punching. The yeah, ball that, to do that. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing here is that he is pushing the ball into a little pocket away from the two balls. Yeah. Um, if the pocket gets too tight, then a fireball does scream out to get sent down, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, first turn, Velahopia, um Cruz GFI'd with his strength 4 guy after blitzing, double wand it, which left the ball unattended in his backfield, and then I guess he was just scared of, like, the wizard, so that's why he went 
he just didn't. He just didn't. Try he failed the roll and yeah, didn't reroll. Re Iron will uh, resilience there to not use a reroll. Oh, very <laughs> disciplined. Very, very disciplined. <laughs> He is, he is very, very, uh, very conservative, isn't he? Certainly can be. I guess the reason he didn't hit the bull is because now the bull's got like double dodge to get relevant, hasn't he? Whereas if he punched him, and even if yeah. he knocks him over, it's just a two plus to get away. So now this does keep the bull corralled. So actually, even though the well, I, mean... I would have wanted to punch the bull, but yeah, it's probably better not punching him now that I see it. Mm. I mean, I'm looking at him dodging off and then punching the Rodge piece that's absolutely central yeah. and trying to get back involved with where I think the ball's going to end up that way. Yeah. Um, but the big strong, strong one, I think, is still um, screened off to the point where I'm not sure it can get relevant except by dropping back into the midfield. You know, just going around that rookie elf that's yeah, on our left. But yeah, it can get uh, back and help. And help yeah, us. it can get back and help, but it not as directly, but it can get back somewhere near. Yeah. But it still does look like this ball's just heading straight forwards into what looks an extremely fireballable area, doesn't it? Yeah. But we'll see. Crucifer's very, very creative in what he does here. Okay, he's blitzing forwards and then blow totally off. That's just... Yeah, that's, that's good. Yep. Fantastic analysis from Dimi there. Well, he might be. Whoa! Ooh. I mean, it, it it wasn't it wasn't subtle, but Dimmy does have a point. <laughs> yeah, uh, now things are better. Yeah, but that's another reroll gone. Uh, just down to the two. Well, that's the first reroll gone. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He, yeah he, for the first turn. He oh, got a, he, he got an extra reroll, on I think, on the kick off. Yes, that he used in the. Yeah, high on the first turn, but oh, yeah, that's yes. a good point. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, Jimmy did say he failed a reroll yes. GFI. Yeah, he snaked the GFI. Two chops in Norman's land, indeed. Yeah, indeed. Um, it's another example, and you see it so often of a of a bash team really trying to get on top of a team with some early hits, but meaning they're just a tiny bit overcommitted. However, uh, Crucifer fantastic at getting back and relevant. Lots of pieces of back defending this ball, but I would you go with the whiz now? I don't see it myself. I think no. Cruz has done enough. No, I don't like the whiz here. No, unless it's an absolute nuclear uh, launch mm -hmm. detected the fireball. Yeah. I don't see the the thing because No, I don't see the gain. Do you need to take it down two of the three? But if you take down Fymir with your blitz, you can you can tag the ball and get in a lot in the way, can't you? It'll be interesting to yeah. see how he plays this. Of course, the bench situation is interesting. There is no spare elves, only one spare hobgob on the CD side. So what you see is pretty much what you get with these teams. Mm. If they've got it, it's there on the field. If it leaves the field, probably not coming back. Ooh. 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 Other sound effects are available. <laughs> um, well, that bolted. was pretty brutal. He could, I mean, he really could have bolted, right? Because he had the wrestle to blitz this guy and get in. So it was, it was yeah. Possible. But the the recovery, and I mean, no real out ball, no one to... You know, no, fuck off ski. It's not good, is it? I mean, no, yes, you take it down the ball. Okay. And then... What? <laughs> Would you, and it's also quite interesting, isn't it, in terms of mindset. I think it shows us that Ori does feel he's got a... I mean, more, just, more than just a shot, that he's the favourite in this game. Mm. Because he's not looking for an edge shot for the wizard. He's looking to nail his dominance using the wizard. He feels he's got this in hand. Question is, uh, when will Orleans is a snake a dodge? Yeah, that's a 
And that's, that's a rough that's push. Actually, you know, his the, guard the, is getting yeah. nailed now. Yep. Maybe he should have dodged him. I think Chris can, can somewhat, uh, somewhat uh, stabilise this turn now. Yeah, I think he's... Um, I mean, it hasn't helped that Oriolensis' dice have not been fantastic, has they, have they? But Cruz has really fought back into a very solid position here. Wiz is still always a danger, and if he gets too compact, it's, it's you know, the fireball does become a real option. Mm. Though, the insight seems to suggest that that's not going to happen. And a lot of elves could get punched this turn. Yes, that's the risk. I mean, you say that, Hell boy. Yeah, saying you don't think this will be Ori's only chance at a challenge. As well, it might be everybody's second last chance at a challenge, right? With uh, <laughs> with uh, with Blood Bowl Three coming out relatively soon, this could be everyone's last chance at a challenge. Yeah, they might be turning this off. Yeah. Oh, no one has given us any assurances oh, that the server is There you go. Oof. How's his bludger? Bludger. There was one of them. Not even a moment's thought of the Roger getting healed there. Nope. Equity shift. Yeah, no, I know what you mean about quality. Of course, I'll, but yeah, Aurelensis is obviously good enough to win. But that was a huge power, by the way, on that blood stepper, wasn't it, from the wrestle? That was a gigantic... That was a really risky one because it was just pushes or something like that, you know, the... Though the side step could have done very, very bad things. Mm. Um, just in passing, whilst Crucifer stabilizes this and murders elves with gay abandon, um, I'm not convinced you're right, Caution. Those of us playing a lot of Blood Bowl may feel that Blood Bowl 2 is... I mean, really, if you ask us, sort of all right, despite the many problems with it. But Blood Bowl 3 will have the thrill of the new. There's a lot of players not interested in playing a rule set this out of date that will play Blood Bowl 3 no matter how bad it is. Uh, so because it will definitely is the new game. split the player base. Yeah, just because it's the new game. Yeah. And some players that don't care about competitive, they just want to be playing the latest Blood Bowl, will play that. I would. I wanted to be able to play it. Yeah, me too. It, then they made it I'm... physically fucking painful. <laughs> I still hope Blood Bowl 3 sorts its problems out. It, it's not going to. Changes some of its fundamental design decisions, which are terrible in certain at this point, and becomes a huge success. It's never going to happen. But I really want those things to be true. I want Blood Bowl to be great. Yeah, and, and sadly, it's absolutely 100% not going to happen. No, but I, I'm not prepared to 100% give up on it just yet, Jimmy, because I, I want... 100% give up. I know you have to. <laughs> and it's really hard not to, because that beta was just appalling. Yeah. And it's, I don't know if, I mean, you don't have kids, but it's like when your kid comes home and shows you a piece of art they're really proud of, and you look at it, and it's shit. And you just think, oh, what do you say? And it was obvious the developers were like, yes, you know, we'll give this to all the streamers, and they'll tell everyone how great it is, and what a brilliant job we're doing. And we all just went, oh, that, yeah. That wasn't the attitude, I think. The I think the attitude was, more, we have by contract to solve something, let's pray. Okay. Well, I, I hope you're right. But the couple of interviews I saw, they seemed to not be saying, no way any we've been forced into this more. Yes. We're chuffed with this. There, are, there is no serious game designer that saw that and thought they're going to love it. But they reached no they reached out to streamers to give they them did. the keys. But they came to us and said, hey, look, come and stream this all over the place. <laughs> Again, I think, I think it was just, you know, by contract. Because uh, Blood yeah, Bowl, uh, the new edition, have a beta key with uh, included with the game. With yeah, the board game. I mean, you might be right. But they kind of done a lot of research, or they wouldn't have given keys to Jimmy, Artemis, me. People that you were would, actually you just would have say, gotten say, them what, or... say what they thought. You, know? <laughs> you would have gotten them or something like that. You know, the game was going to be available, there would be streamers. The, the card was out of the box. But yeah, maybe someone, I, I don't know, I mean... I don't know, I've worked with CNI doing translations in the past through an agency, translation agency, and uh, for the game of uh, they did about the Game of Thrones, and I had access to an alpha version and things were much more 
better iron it right. than it uh, was, was the Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I mean, uh, with COVID and all that, who knows? You know, it's, it's a mystery. The reality is, it was horrible. Yeah, it was. It was horrible. In just so many different directions. And there is nothing, no one has said anything about how it's going to be the league system, the tournament system, or whatever, you know, proper game system. There is, you know, the teams, the single player. And yeah, they the told us all about the single player system. Which the, the actual thing that you want to know how it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be able to customize leagues or whatever it is, you know. Very selfish of you, Fermia. I mean, surely what most people care about is a good quality single player experience with the toys. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what people look into. Cyanide AI. AI. Um, I can spend many a happy second playing that. I played about two or three games against AI, and you know, I was going to see if I could win the campaign without making a block. And uh, I got bored after two games. I was going to say, I love how you say I played two or three games. Like, that's quite a brag. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I spent almost three hours, maybe, nearly, thinking about doing their single player game. <laughs> I played it to test uh, teams, you know, the skills of the teams and how they work and all that. Okay, this could be all right. And just to have pure entertainment destroying things. <laughs> now, this is quite an interesting position we've reached here, although it hasn't been very interesting the last couple of turns, since we've talked about other things, and I, I think that's all right. Um, we're in quite an interesting position now, where the Chorfs have suddenly, they've stabilised fine. They're in a lovely, stable position. But you know where they are? They're also in their own half still, on turn five. They are. Yep. But we're going to see. We're going to see advancement this turn. We are. And so, yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to how Crucifer solves this, because there doesn't seem to be an obvious route forwards, and yet, find one he must. I think the obvious route is straightforward, smashing straight through this bludge line on. Are you saying he should 2D some lads and advance over their dead, fresh, bleeding corpses? Yes. Uh, I think I'm with you, Jimmy. <laughs> I think maybe we see a uh, blitz on the loner, uh, on the new, you know, the only piece on the LOS, the blitzer. No, and stabilizing the case well, there and, and then I mean that that is an option is you blitz out the left and try and move others. up that flank but the dwarves are just so slow to move up that way yeah I, I like this way because then if once you clear him you get your 2D on the garda and then with a the follow that gives you another 2D and stuff and, and that maximizes your hits doesn't it so I think we'll see up the, up the middle here oh there you are chat it looks like he is going for the middle path that left path was so tempting just one little skillless elf but it does mean leaving a lot of chores behind. He has chosen the Jimmy route. He's going to fight them all the way. Yeah. I, I think I would have done the same, to be honest. Right, this, 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 oh, this guy stood up, but still, it still gives you that. It still gives you that hit on the catcher, which is what you want, isn't it? That guard. Yeah. That guard Specifically, that guard needs smashing until it's dead. It's the piece I'd be the most worried about if I was Crucifer. Yeah. Do you think he's going to pop a little foul in here? I think he might. He's got one on the bench, hasn't he? He can certainly pop a foul in at some point. Oh, 100%. Not awfully worried about the elves killing too many of his dwarfs, though. Quite a lot of that has happened in this chalice for him. Yeah, he doesn't really have anyone left to foul unless he just, like, fouls... I mean, he doesn't want to foul the ball carry and the dirty players miles away. Have to yeah, it is. No, I think you're right. It has to be a future it desire, doesn't it? Yeah, the pro again, the problem with going left there, uh, Flicky is, hello by the way, is that this guy's got to stand up and the these doors are slow plus one stuck in a sidestepper, so... Yeah. Rough. Yeah. I mean, you could you have come a, with... The... You had a hobo to cover one side, the uh, one corner of the cage, the bull, other, but yeah, later it's complicated. Yeah, and there it, are look, two it players looks great behind, this turn and falls apart next turn. Three players in front of you that you, you know, more or less have to leave them. Oh. oh, well, he is going... He's going a oh. bit of both here. He is. He's going up. He's going up over the left whilst holding all the chorfs on the right. It's it's brave. He's certainly found that space we I talked about. He needs to foul um, this blood stepper though, doesn't he? He definitely, definitely cannot close this. Doesn't he just dodge off first with the bull and then hit it later? Because if it steps to the wrong place, this whole plan is no. He just powers it. No, he couldn't. He couldn't step to the wrong place because if he steps, if he steps like down, he goes away that way, and if he steps up, he goes around the other way. So, no, I was thinking it steps between the bull and the LOS. 
So yeah. one to the right of where it did, and then if, if it was a... Then you go down this way, see? Yeah, I see. Okay, so you still come out the way he did, basically, yeah. yeah. But there is still an open corner on this cage. I just don't think the elves can realistically get to it, can they? Yeah. Certainly not now with that power. Again, a push there might have given a shot. Tricky, though. No AV, but no, that is close. Will we see a double GFI foul in this rookie? Well, not rookie. Dodge catch. No. <laughs> no. What a win. Still very, very nice position, uh, given the problem I talked about. A little bit of a GFI, but other than that, one open corner on this cage, but you sort of feel he's put enough around to keep the elves off it majorly. Yeah, it's Looks like it's all going to be all right, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to put Papa Wizard in here, do you? No. Uh, <laughs> and so you have now on the right side the strength chorf and the stamping chorf are keeping tight. I mean, it's an extraordinary elves. good job, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Three chorfs have got five elves tied up. Somewhere else, one dot chorf and a hobgob have got three tied up. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a masterpiece of positioning considering the position he was in and how urgent the need for space looked. He's controlled these elves really well. He's built a very stable position. I don't see it collapsing this turn. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Is already you've got to get the pressure on for next turn, haven't you? That's mm. that's key. Yeah, I think you've got to dodge away here, punch down the uh, hobble. That lets you get this catcher out around this side. Yep. Yep. You need want to blitz the claw mighty probably with your with your with your mighty blow. That lets you get this guy out, and then this guy up through a bit, and then he's he'll have quite a bit back, and then. Cruz will be struggling to get forward. Like he is under on a clock, isn't he now? Cruz only three turns. Three turns, and also he can't. You know, he doesn't want to go in in one in two turns. He really wants it to be the full three. Yeah. So as you're not going to be targeting him, really in turn six, you need to make it sure that in turn six you're making turn yeah. seven. Now impossible. is the time for uh, Orelensis to make those two plus dodges. Yeah. Get in a better position for next turn. I'm yes, making, you know, his players difficult to target because any of them is good enough to try to break the cage or whatever it is. You know, all of them have skills good enough to, you know, take risks. I think I would have followed up there because the catcher that's next to him can actually make ball contact, thus probably forcing the Blitz to be pushing him off um, on two go for it, which I might have left till the end of the turn, but I think I would have tried that. He's still got that option, hasn't he? Oh, no, he still has, yes, of course. He just dodges over the line of scrimmage and then back. Oh, big stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, was, I didn't know if he, he might do that, but the problem is... Like, Doing a, a lot of two pluses, yeah. I have one die on it's the... One. Yeah, but it's exactly the blitz that Jimmy talked about, which frees up at least one more elf, controls another piece that otherwise could have pushed forward and helped stabilise this cage, um, and gets where he's left that guard as well, is sort of... It makes it slightly tougher to reunite with the dwarves over on the right-hand side and move the cage over to that flank. So I really like Ori's positioning here at the moment. Yeah, that's nice too. It reinforces that, that there's no way to move to the sort of northeast of where the ball is now. Northwest is the obvious place to go. And that means leaving half your team behind. Yeah. Yep, very, very nice uh, field positioning. I like this one too. Yes, and now the Wiz does look a threat, doesn't it? Yep. To, uh, I mean, all at this point, again, with both bulls forward, snatching and punting. I wonder if that's why um, we've seen that, uh, that other hobgoblin stay back quite so deep when it didn't quite have to. No. Ooh, ooh, this, this, I, I preferred leaving this guy here and, uh, and yeah. letting this guy get punched and now he yeah. should maybe open this up a little bit to go to this side. No, I agree, time to take that hit. Yeah, now he can uh, cage on the right side if he wants. Yes, now he can move over into that right flank, which I said was cut off, couldn't he? He's got that option and I think that's probably where you need to go. There isn't enough to push up on the left, is there? There's just not enough to come with you. No. 
And if you can get a pal here, he can free the hobble up to uh, join them as well. Yeah, he can be quite strong down this down this right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think stand up and take one of those hits is a really good idea there. I think that's given up a lot of the space he'd worked hard for. Though there is still a squeeze up this right-hand side. It's not easy, is it? Yeah. But that guy gets hit, and that that basically doesn't happen as much if that guy stood there like yeah. he was. Yeah. Oh. Nicky on the guard piece. Bring the stinger. Well, this is good by Chris, isn't it? He's still seeing a sting as central as he can by hitting from that angle, and he's tagging yep. that guy. It's very nice. Yep. He yeah, can hit the, uh, the blogger with a strength 5 bull to stick it with the dwarves and use the strength 5 bull as one of the corners of the gate. Yeah. If he wants to keep moving ahead. Yeah, he's got lo lots of options as to where he cages here, depending just how risky he wants it to be. Uh, but he doesn't really need to take the risk at all, does he? Yeah. And freeing up that hobgoblin at the back is huge now. Yep. So really, it's about whiz protection. He can pretty much do what he wants in terms of where he puts the ball. But if he does pick a nice tight cage, then the whiz has to be in play, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah Who doesn't good. love a turn six or seven wizard? That's peak whiz time. It's funny, isn't it? The, both sides have just got to be thinking about the wizard all the time. It's, it's, it's just uh, extremely so powerful, the wizard, you know, it's therefore so over the top compared with any other inducement that is absolutely mental. <laughs> yeah. So, very safe. Yeah, lovely, lovely screen shape there. Defended beautifully from any fireballs. Strong and stable. Well, if there's someone that knows how to screen and uh, good, good positioning with chores, it's Crucifer. Yep. Man, if you if the cap was a uh, blue ball roll on a five plus, reach the final on a six, win the final. It's alright, isn't it? I mean, he has won seventy-five percent of his matches. That is, that in the Look in the chalice, that. that is what that translates to. Unbelievable. He's been. This is his ninth final of forty finals of the CCL and won five. Yeah. Now, how many people there would have taken that hit with that bull rather than moving around into the so much stronger position he's put it in there? Yeah. Oh, lots. And I, I was say he avoided the trap because obviously your lens is put the bludger there as a trap for the bull to try to keep the bull busy. busy. The wizards come when people, in. Yeah, it does. When people call Cruz for a banger, that's what they miss, is that he will turn down hits left, right and centre if he thinks the position is stronger not taking it. So the wiz has come in. I don't love that. I don't necessarily think we're going to get it and stop this touchdown, but... Well, it's just some three pluses, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, of course it is, because dwarfs, because um, elves, but yes, still. 1D him? Do you just 1D him? And then you go in on like me, yeah. just pick it up on a 3+, plus. if you power him, it's it's insane, because he's just 3+, plus, 2+, plus, pass it, gonna win. Yes, the, the, yeah, exactly, the problem is you have to 1D him with someone that isn't then doing the ball fetching. Well, that's exactly what you called for, Jimmy, you don't bounce a hit, do you? you pick it up on a 3. Yeah, 3+. plus. Disappointing. And if you get it out to that catcher, it's 1-0. Yeah. yeah, this is just 3-3-2 three, three, two to win the game, basically. Um, 3-2-3-2-3? Three, three, two, three, two, three? Yeah. Why has he gone there? Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, it's... 3-2 uh, three, 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 catch the ball one, two, and dodge three, into four, the... 3-2-2-2. Um, three, two, two, two. If you make the three plus pick up, it's a two plus dodge out. I think a single two plus go for it gives you a two plus pass, doesn't it? What is the two plus? What is what is the two plus out dodge out? Oh no, Which you're right. Square. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's oh, three, yes. yeah, three, three to enter, three, three to pick three, up the ball, two. three to get three. out, two plus. <laughs> yeah, three, two three, plus, two plus. three, two. Yeah. He's actually standing where he wants to be. I think. 
Yeah, I'm not sure there's... Would you have... Oh, would I have moved that? Yeah, I suppose so. It's, it's about the limited number of pieces that can do anything good with the ball. But as you can't tag the hobgob that was holding it, or the other one very near it, effectively, I'm not sure how much use that was. Mm. Oh, doesn't make the pickup. Oh. Oh, one in oh, It was a good play. It was a good play. There was I a was. few rolls, but he had a roll, so... Yeah, if he doesn't add five, I love that wizard. If he's got an edge five, yeah, but he didn't, and it was it was always going to be dicey because there was always a good chance of a push there, wasn't it? If he if if that like if that push had been a pow, it looks great, doesn't it? Because then you're a three yes, plus two. Yes, it's all two plus. Yeah. Amazing. then it's a single three plus in the chain. But even then, he's he you know he won in nine to three plus. So even then, it could have not been good enough. But you're right. I mean, having an agility five L for situations like that is so important, isn't it? Yeah. Having a LED5 allows you to use the wizard any time, any moment, and grab the ball. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's a good point by Jehini, and is he going to get a better shot as well? That's, that's the thing, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Turn 7 for it was already turn 6, turn 7. There is a lot of chores ready to make, you know, a wall. Oh, I thought if you didn't go for it there, you, you full on stop defending it pretty much, and you just, you know, you get your drive in the second half and see if you get lucky or if you need to use the wizard to turn him over in overtime. If you don't use it there, you've given up that drive. So I don't hate that he used it. I didn't think it was a brilliant position, but he, you know, he made a good shot at it. And someone can samba that, but uh, three, three, three. I think it was three, 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 two, two, yes. Yes. two, uh, with a catch on that last two. And a reroll in the rest of rolls. And the rest a reroll covering it. So there you go, 48. Uh, so, yeah, about a 50% chance of making that play. Yeah, which isn't terrible. And is it? Yeah, that's not terrible a massive. At all. And if you manage to do it, you know, the, 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 your odds to win the game. And you've won. You've are just, absolutely massive. Uh, yeah, you haven't won the game, but you've won, you've won the drive 100% because he's not yes. doing anything. Is he? No, but you're 1 0 up at the half with the ball in hand. So that's a really good position. It's not game over, but it's really good. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, okay, this is a badly hurt. Apo would definitely work. Doesn't do it still. Yeah, that was literally the worst player, wasn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's guaranteed to actually have impact and be available for the second half, Jim. Yeah, I know, yeah. That's why I called it as a possibility. I think uh, from now on, any cast is an Apo. Well, I mean, he doesn't give a shit about whether it lives or dies. So death and badly hurt are the same, except badly hurt you can fix 50% of the time and 100% uh, of the time. And death, you can only fix 50% of the time. Yeah, no, I think... Uh, so I'd be looking one... for a badly hurt this turn or next. Or if not, a KO early in the second half. Oh, there is no tomorrow for so either of these teams. Another fail! Wow! Doesn't one in nine it, though. And... Oof. That's it's a good point. Some guy one one three that could be here had got the power. There's one in three chance of it being much better than a fifty fifty. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So it was fifty fifty after the push. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also it was a one in three. You know, if it had one in six there and he'd got the skull, then it was all awful. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was a thirty two percent chance of very bad result, a block or a skull. And the rest were okay and two good ones. Yeah. But again, you keep going back in rolls, you know, I am maybe this one was winning a power, maybe <laughs> this other time, you know. Yeah, he's totally corralled now, isn't he? Three stuns, brutal. There's a. Uh, yep. There's not a lot of. Because unfortunately, the one that was stunned at the very front, I'd have liked a 3 2 there to cancel the guard on the ball. And then, you know, you can, you can get a one die, can't you? by coming in off the sideline if you cancel from the other side of the ball. And although there's a lot of dice involved, that's possible. You could throw a re-roll at it. It doesn't really matter if you fail, because he scored anyway. He's a... Uh, four plus, three plus, plus, four plus, two red dice, versus two a plus. wrestler. Yeah, four plus, and two plus reds. Gets red one die. there, doesn't it? For a red die. Yeah, four plus, two plus reds. It probably isn't that bad, right? He's got wrestle. Something uh, could happen. Two. I mean... Three, there are other options. <laughs> yeah, really. you can you can two three three two to get in a to, to stop it to be, make it one die as well. Mm. So the catcher with wrestle at the back can yes. uh, if you four two out to cancel the guy on the side, 
well, you can't because he can't fall. Uh, he's the saving the reroll for the one turn. <laughs> and he's saving the reroll for one turn. So, I mean, with elves, there's always options, but it's just how many ridiculous dice are you expecting to actually get away with in the turn? Mm. I mean, that 2 3 3 2, it's not terrible, but you wouldn't want to do it, really, would you? No. Considering no, you know, tackle on all of it, so no dodge rerolls. Oh, no, you're not happy about it, but then when it's that, I'll lose. Yeah, then you try that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course, yes. You know, like, oh, it's a difficult roll, yes, but if not, you lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That always, that always yeah. tickled me in the Artemis things when he's like, blockless block, and it's like, he's rookie chaos Artemis. What do you want him to do? Just sit and wait to lose. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Absolutely. you know. And keep your uh, roll uh, list, you know, your dice roll clean and good, good percentages. You know, I have an 80% on everything. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to beat my team this game. Uh, in four or five games, when the MVP has given me some levels, I will be prepared to play Blood Bowl. But until then, just hit me and let me know when it's done. No, you have to. If it's all you've got, you, you do it. Exactly. It's not your. It's not a bad option. It's your best option. Well, there we are. Crucifer one nil up. Oh, absolutely, Raven. Yeah, you buy a ticket. You try to be lucky, but you don't try insane things. There's a time and a place. Yeah. Really, Dimmy. Oh wow. I'm I mean, that's why I was looking at. Well. Do we go for the four two two red, or do we go for the? Two, three, three, two, four, two, one die. Because I would have done one or the other. Because you've got to try something. Yeah, I will go for the red die because adding the other to try cancel assist is adding more rolls, which is like if any of them fail, you know. Yeah, I mean, particularly as it was a wrestle piece, so it even might have had even to take if both you down. only get a push on the red die, that makes Crucifer has to use a GFI to you know. Yeah, true, true. Certainly, something's worth trying. Um, or the other option, which is again an active choice to not try, an active choice to save the team, run away, which has to be taken a few turns earlier to really have any impact. No, running away, yes, at turn three, turn four, uh, option. And say, okay, I have most of my team now, time to run away. Maybe here's next uh, six times they're picking <laughs> up the ball. That, that would be lovely, dog to the dog, thus completing and ending irony. Mm. I'd love to see it. <laughs> I think there's a lot I more chance it. he goes out in the first round, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, We're here on the, uh, the Michael well, Jordan last dance. This is Crucifer last dance. He's chance to win his sixth ring or cap or whatever <laughs> he, they are doing. Too many things would have to change for the world to even throw that up as a possibility, dog to the dog. Artemis doesn't like playing other good people at Blood Bowl. Um, and I don't see that changing. He doesn't like playing Blood Bowl, and I don't see that changing. <laughs> I see the option and then he of the idea, win games you know, in the after, so. after being so long out of the game, you know, seeing the game with pink glasses, it wasn't that bad. I, it was me, I was in a bad place, you know, <laughs> like that. First game, second turn, Artemis, what the fuck is this one in nine? Yeah, really absolutely. Game? Fucking shitty game. What the fuck I'm doing here? And install. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. This doesn't look so bad, does it? This, yeah, I, I quite like I quite like watching Blood Bowl. I'll give it another go. Oh, for fuck's sake! Of course, it's my bloody mummy <laughs> hit by a rock on turn zero. Oh, there you go. There you go. Red dice, double powers. There you go. Oh, instant cast. Of course, of course. Fucking game. If Davo reaches round two, I I think we are truly in the darkest timeline. <laughs> we should all we should all be on the lookout for COVID twenty two because. <laughs> Davo wins the first just, game and uh, there's a way closes the servers. Be. Yeah, absolutely. There's a way something <laughs> for, for the be. launch of Blue Blue 3. You know, guys, to give you more time to play Blue Blue 3, we can push the Blue Blue 2 servers. <laughs> <laughs> or he wins and the server eats the result. They have to play, he has to play again and loses. <laughs> I mean, the thing what? is, it's what insane. Did Andy is obviously a good enough coach to easily win a chalice. That wouldn't surprise anyone. But the longer this goes on, the funnier it gets. Even Andy now admits that it's it's become a thing, even for him in his head, that he can't win a round one. Um, and hey, who doesn't love a bit of a narrative, a bit of a story? Exactly. It's like, you know, this crazy result that sometimes happens. I mean, clearly Davo is a great coach, he was, able to win. Oh, he won the blitz pit. Absolutely. He won the blitz pit. Well, so Andy's, I know yeah. that and lots of games have very high percentage. Yeah. 
I can uh, name you ten other actually, ways to prove Davo's quality. He's he's a top quality coach, and I won't have anyone say different. The jokes. Just even some random mm -hmm. people are entering the stream, you know, makes jokes about him. And he no. takes it very well. He takes yeah, it very well. Yeah, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be joking about it if, because I, I did a famous joke about it that Andy heard and laughed. And if I didn't think he was all right with it, I wouldn't, because I like him too much to try and annoy people. It's not my way. This is really Usually I joke about people I know can take it. This is impossible, but it's, you know, good luck to him. I'd love to see it done. He's trying to use a bull as a fulcrum. Well, Oh, no, no, it's screwed. Oh, that's a shame in some ways, isn't it? That would what? have been lovely to see. Of Pick course, it is. Yeah, now it is finished, yes. If it hadn't been the, if that hadn't been a stand firm chore, if there's still a vague chance, but it's, it's, there isn't. Yeah, this is the, this is the thing, isn't it? Um, that is, that is very, uh, very much does not line up with his uh, CCL win rate, does it? No, you're talking about no, that. Really you were doesn't. talking, you know, I can't imagine. Bloody kickoff events. <laughs> yeah. Of course he gets the bloody perfect defense. Stupid little kids game. Yeah, that's true, Jahanian. Um, I but, think that's you know, not true. I think that's not Andy, true at all. And he does not need defending. For the last four or five seasons, he has brought the biggest, nastiest thing he can possibly coach to Chalice. I think that is not and been thrashed in round one every time. Yeah. So whilst there is something in that, Andy needs no defending. He wouldn't ask you to. He's he's aware it's a thing. It will change. He's too good a coach for it to continue. But while it does, it's hilarious. Well, it's not going to continue for long, is it? With Blood Bowl three on the rise, and that's the thing, isn't it? So, but yeah, hopefully Blood Bowl three will have like a chalice kind of thing, won't it? They it, must it, it's going to have something, isn't it? Has to, sure. They must have a competition and like that. They think they must have something more relaxed, more casual for you know. Yes. You need a, the elite competition. You know, they want to create this quality content and things like that. And the regular stuff for people just to play and have fun. You know, in Call of Duty and all that have their tournaments and all this, but also you have your regular games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right, Femi. I think it, it would be obvious to even the most ridiculously coked up gaming executive that you have to have an online offering that is one that just everyone can do pretty much what they want in and is unpoliced and just have some fun, and one that is the competitive edge of whatever game it is, because that will drive the hardcore fans that make all the videos yeah, and the guides, and that helps them sell games. But well, many, many games have ranked games and unranked games. You know, you can play yeah. League of Legends com uh, level competition exactly. or you can just play, okay, let's play some games. You but know, that does credit fun. Cyanide with a level of competence they have yet to really display. <laughs> That's my concern. You know, and, and you wonder why the Cyanide guy doesn't come to this stream. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I, him, I, mean, I, I, I hope I'm other, wrong. Uh, in other remember, streams. remember what they care about is selling games so all they really care about is people playing it to drive the numbers to drive the interest so they yes. will design whatever they think will make people do that all they really care about is making a trailer for blood bowl 3 that looks like it's a real-time game <laughs> so they can trick people who don't know about two-hour refunds on steam to buy it the the, <laughs> the steam reviews which is the ultimate justice in many cases, are, could be absolutely brutal. I mean, a proper review bombing, well deserved, like, wow. Absolutely friendly for FPS. That is exactly if they were asking me, and they haven't, uh, and they shouldn't, the smarter people than me. Yeah, I like, you know, the if they were asking you... me, what I would design for you is a CCL-like process taking six or seven weeks, at the end of which there is a compulsory redraft for every team. And teams could go into the chalice after either one or two seasons competing in the open ladder, and then they must compulsorily redraft before they compete in the next season. And that way, you don't have to keep this constant remaking of teams. You can keep a team forever because it can just redraft and restart the next season. It'll give redrafting a reason. It means teams will live forever. It'll give you a competitive scene where no one's too far ahead. Uh, by limiting the number of games, you won't get ridiculously bloaty teams, which otherwise, in the Blood Bowl 2020 rule set, if you're not going to make them redraft, teams are going to get huge like huge like you've never seen the money's higher there's less attrition they're going to be enormous and with people able to just endlessly grind until they get lucky on random rolls and then when they get four or five good random rolls built to enormous size um the scene will be ridiculous it won't be competitive at all it won't be worth playing 
Of but course. that's just me being a doomsayer. Plenty of time to sort it all out. But of so Ori's going down the flank here. The alternative to that is, of course, the Dorf's Min Max Paradise, which... Yeah. You know, that's it's pick your poison, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's there's ways of solving that. I, I think that's an easier problem to solve. But yes, there are some teams, and Dwarfs are one, that will redraft very effectively and very dangerously. Um, but if you do it at the end of a season, not after redraft, that will help other teams get back onto parity. Um, and I don't know, we're, it's going to have to run a year or two before we really know the meta well, Jimmy. But I suspect you're right that if you do have redrafting, there will be some teams like Dorfs that will really benefit. I think Undead will do great as well. Yeah. They don't need money for players. They only need a couple of key positionals. You know, things like Zombies, you can always have just junk. Necros. Good. The yeah, flesh two golems. good Wolves. Two, or two good Flesh Golems and two good Wolves. What, everything else can be rebought. It's fine. Good point, Wolfbark. He's going the wrong way. What the hell is this? This isn't a dagger. Uh, <laughs> get, get your shit together, Oriolens. No, not, this is not the target area. We have you, seen this before. We have seen be this before. To... This is yeah, a someone's he has someone's turned now. his field around. He's trying to go forwards and score, Jimmy. It's madness, isn't it? <laughs> He's going back. He has done it before, and later he will retreat. <laughs> it is entirely possible he does retreat, yes, if the chores <laughs> like get back the, in front uh, of this the drive. The necro. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when I... That was, that was with me, me every time I try to do a quick score with elves, I get brutally shut down and just have to run back like, every time. It's unreal. Yeah, that's exactly, because you, exactly. You have lost it's, the spirit really of a hard. young child playing, doing 4 plus, 3 plus to a score. Here we go. <laughs> Necro would actually just be... Uh, would just be not, not take fleshies, probably. Because... Things like fleshies and saurus and black orcs are a bit crap having to having to get the block first. It's you know it's it just takes them a lot of time, doesn't it? A lot of seasons. You, you know you know it's going to be hard with redrafting. Those dwarfs are just one and done. Disgustous. Ah yeah, maybe maybe Sean. Is, yeah, maybe he's got confused. Good shout. Well, I mean possibly or now this is. I mean, perhaps he's going to do a sort of retro throwback thing to the idea where you you try and win by scoring quickly and then turning the opponent over. Yeah, I'm 100% behind that idea. I think it's a good idea, but maybe it, I don't it's know. Not. It's maybe not. That's why you'll stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he had enough players to not do it. You know, like my team is more or less all right. I can do a DACA and then, you know, I still have a team. I mean, he couldn't turn them over with 11 players and a wizard. So, I don't fancy his chances with nine players and no wizard, you know? Yeah, I do take your point there. But, I mean, a uh, misfield or something could still... Oh, hang on, there was a misfield in the first half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or a whiz. Oh, he used that in the first half. Yeah. yeah, you're right, he's screwed. If he scores quick, he's probably screwed. It's it's looking bad, isn't it? Like, it's, it's looking yeah. rough for all. I and we are counting that he's going to be able to score because the strength 5 bull can come, you know, to cover uh, behind the other bull and... I'm surprised no one in stat, no one in chat yet with a good grasp of statistics has given us a breakdown of just how much of our lives we have spent watching Crucifer win Chaos Dwarf driven finals. <laughs> I already did it. If it was a blood ball roll, counting the 40 uh, caps on a 5 plus, Cruz reaches the final in a six. He wins the final. Yeah, nine, yes. nine finals, five wins. Nine finals, including those five wins. This would make it six out of nine, would it, if he wins this one? Yeah, six. Or one. six out of ten. Six, six out of nine. Wow. Mm. So also really good record in those finals. He beat me in a final. Mm. I was one of those losses. Just deleted me. I mean, his, his chores just destroyed my doors. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything. He was all over me like a cheap, nasty suit. <laughs> Oh god, thank god it was a suit. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something else. <laughs> Nearly one letter away, in fact. The Tom Brady of Blood Bowl. He is, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think all more for the Michael Jordan, you know, but yeah, yeah, Tom Brady too, yes. Run back, Ori, run back. <laughs> I think I think that might be the answer here. Um, <laughs> the problem is, is he didn't leave a couple of elves central, which I like to do, which allows you to use them as the fulcrum to run back through the middle on. 
he's pretty much nailed down this flank because Crucifer's just not giving him any space. Mind you, that strength five bull is doing a lot of work in that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he could just three plus to, to score. But he's not and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back we go. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> right, we've assessed the this tactical situation, sir. Yes. We've had a look at what the enemy's got and what we've got. Yes. We've seen where everything's disposed on the battlefield. Yes. And our advice is we should run away. <laughs> okay, guys. It didn't work. It didn't work again. So now it's a signature move. He has done it so many times that this is actual play. <laughs> Brave Sorry ran away. Good. At least he gets to hit the hot ball this way. Tragically, not with Mighty Blow, but there you go. Yes, give up your entire offensive derive, all position on the field, all momentum, and maybe even a reroll. But you do get to hit a hobgoblin. <laughs> well, he's not even doing it that way. I would have just oh. blocked, blocked, and then blitzed the hobgoblin. Yes, uh, I want to mention to the viewers that uh, there is a call a, a chorf with my name on the pitch. So technically, I'm playing the uh, CCL uh, Cup final. Well, that doesn't look safe. Oh, it's, uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's not safe. Good. It probably will be. Can roll some dices here with this last guy. Come through and then he can finally 2D this hobble. No, he's not. What a whimp. I guess at least no, he's got the hand off. Got to get some width. Though, why not get some movement forwards as well as the width? Okay, because you don't want to be hit by that mighty blow chorf in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, still not safe, Ori. Right? There's still. The strength five can still blitz the ball very, very easily. Yeah, I'm blitzing the ball with my strength five here. I don't know about you. Yeah, oh. he hasn't got Oh, there you go. I don't think Crucible. I know. But it's a two. It's three two plus go for it's with sure feet covering them, and a two plus dodge for a two die on it. I just don't. I guess he's got wrestle, so it's yeah. And if you knock him forwards, the odds of a good recovery aren't terrible. Um, I, I don't. If he has to use wrestle, and I mean, I, yeah, there's no good recovery if he wrestles him down, is there? No, I, no I'm, I think you're right. I don't think he will. I think he's going for the ball. Smashing elf at my evil. Although, I mean, I think Fermi's right. I think he is doing what I said. The way he's set everything else up so far, it looks like it. I mean, uh, Orelensis, if things go wrong with this play, yeah. you know, Orelensis can't score. Next and he's time. got backfield cover with that Rackle Hobgob. Yes. And the strength uh, for Chorf yeah, and the, strength the other Chorf and the ball over the other side. No, he's not. He's keeping his bulls like opposite, isn't it? So that they cover yeah. the whole field. Oh, I wish he was. It would have been a lot more exciting. But this is good control play. It's going to base the ball. How exciting. A little bit of ball threat. A little bit of positional dominance. And now he has to foul. Well, ball is based on. Yeah. Oh, it's true, yes. Although I'd move the dwarf. Strength four backwards one step first. I don't like it where he is. I think he should be back a single step. Because it allows that catcher off and into the midfield very easily. Ah, uh, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't hit an apple. Mm. I know, I like a power apple there, eh? I don't understand why that wasn't apple. Yeah. I genuinely don't understand. That's a chance to get the numbers a bit back more in your favour, particularly yeah. knowing he was getting sent off. Yeah, that's the thing. If he's not sent off, then he's just going to foul you next turn. But with yeah. him being sent off, yeah, I feel yeah. Like maybe he should have done. But then maybe he's just going to go for the pass touchdown here. Look, this this line up and get the end. Well, as on. I said, yeah, not moving he can the hand um, off and he can just lob it to him easy. Maybe he'll do that. Not moving that strength four, so at least making it a three-two for that elf to get out. I think could come back to haunt him here. Yeah. Just two yeah, plus for that elf to be out into the end zone, and it's sidestep, so it can sit there and it's not under threat. Two, two, three two to reach the end zone. Yep, this and looks very easy to score if Ori wants to. Oh yes, yes. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, I like trying to burn turns, of course, Wolfpack, but I mean, the, the problem is, if you, you know, like, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. The problem you've yeah. got is it's hard. <laughs> you haven't got many elves. You're blitzing oh, God. a okay. guy. Do not try this at home, kids. If this isn't a pal, this is wild. just the end of the world. He's got it. He knew he was going to roll. Uh, he gets it's the right. pal. Well, then it's all all right. Full Gadenic, not a problem. 55% of that sorting itself. But luckily, it did. Oh, yeah. I, I, like, I wasn't really like saying it was a great idea to score or anything. I'm just saying, if you don't score, <laughs> you know, you're losing, isn't it? The Chorfs have like got the inevitability, basically, in this whole game. So it's like... A bull there, you know, he's not going to do it. He's not doing it, but that bull could break tackle into the cage to dice the ball with a four plus. Yeah, yeah, I mean, anytime it wants, it can do that. It's, yeah. um, <laughs> with guard, he doesn't and... even care about the guard, <laughs> he's still just, still yeah. just 2D. Yes, it is to move, you know, the one chore for the free chore just to cancel the assist down, and that's it. Yeah, I think I mean I would I think I would use the apple as well. But what I mean is you, you could you could not use the apple thinking that you were going to try and score this turn. That's an option, isn't it? Even then, I'd rather definitely have my key hitting piece back than fifty percent have it back in a game where it doesn't matter if people die. There is no tomorrow. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Never I thought dies. that was a yeah. I thought that was a bad decision, but it's been made. Now let's see if he can find a good use for his apple. Could have been just a mistake, you know, we're thinking about using it, but the screen appears and you just press OK too quick. Yeah, I've, ha I've had it where it, I had like about 10 seconds left to choose and it just ran out of time and uh, I couldn't use the apple. OK. Well, I mean, to be clear, he's turned down a badly hurt that would definitely have been fine and in this second half. And uh, a KO that would have stayed on field with the fouling piece gone, swinging the numbers a bit back uh, so in his favour. I think it's, both it's, of those would have been good cases. It's his mighty blow uh, player, which, I mean, mighty blow tackle doesn't do anything in this game, but mighty blow could do something, and it's a very good piece. It's a, it's about trying to chip the hobgobs, isn't it? I mean, yep. that's how you thin the Chaos Dwarves to begin with, is you get rid of the hobgobs. Especially the, the sure hands one now that you don't have a yeah. you really want to get him. Which is Absolutely. again why I wanted that mighty blow not exposed the way he was exposed. Like, probably would have been better to have not blitzed with a mighty blow, just so that you wouldn't have had him yeah. exposed on the first turn. Um, because now you might well could try and find him as you blitz, but it's looking pretty bad, isn't it? In other news, um, this is a lovely blitz hit through here, though, isn't it? This is a glorious blitz this, this guard uh, is giving him yeah. on yeah. Uh, Fymir here. Fymir yeah. about to lose the match for uh, Cruz. Um, uh, that's the way out, <laughs> yes. Double skulls into double skulls. <laughs> um, but in other news, I microwaved an egg today. Oh, a poached. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it is poached, isn't it? If you microwave yep. it, it was it was pretty cool. I was I was surprised by how good it was. A, I, I've tried a variety of egg poaching in microwaves. It's um, it's good. Can be a bit fiddly. Did you do the one in the coffee mug with water on top, or the one in a little bag, or? Yeah, in in like well, in not a coffee mug, but like a weird little cup thing. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Well, there we go. It wasn't me. Well. Yeah, I, I you can also microwave a potato and you have a full dinner there. Oh, you can definitely scramble eggs in the microwave, and I still sometimes do, but I, I'm a big fan of scrambling in a pan. Not hard to do, and if you know what you're doing, it's you know it's three minutes to do, half a minute to clear up, done. Yummy scrambled eggs. And in a microwave, it's really easy to overcook them and end up with a big wadge of rubber. <laughs> Very good, Hellboy. Um... Yeah, like I was surprised because I thought it'd be terrible, but I thought I'll give it a try, and yeah, it wasn't it wasn't minging. But um, Dimmy's got me addicted to poached eggs. I hadn't had one for ages, and then he posted his poached eggs, it, it, and it's the golden ratio: three three eggs to two slices of bread. Genius from Dimmy, that absolute genius. <laughs> three changed my life. Dimmy changed my life with three three poached eggs to two slices of toast. So if Do you, you have any other, sometimes other... find there's a little much yolk. Dimmy, is it? No. No, no such thing as too much. Uh, Are we talking thick slices here, or just a medium slice on the bread? Is it medium, medium? I guess edging towards thick. I guess. 
edging towards thick. Because if that was very thin toast, I would worry about running out. <laughs> I used to make the Melba toast when I was uh, working in restaurants. Mm -hmm. You toast a bit of bread and then you cut it in half between the two toasted sides and then retoast the insides of that. Wow. Ending up with sort of like a crisp version of bread. Interesting. So, Ori's in huge trouble here, isn't he? Um, he's got some options downfield. One, but... <laughs> and he's sort of got a screen here. I think Crucifer's <laughs> just in a great position, isn't he? Just tries to keep chip, chipping the occasional high elf, and yeah. as long as he's double-marked that uh, that option at the back. Yeah, exactly. Hope, Cruz is, is the three unconcerned, isn't he? Cruz is yeah. unconcerned. He's just, yeah. he's just ready to keep pounding on him. Although the attrition hasn't really kicked in this half, has it? I mean, we've, we've lost one more elf, but... But he's down to weird, isn't he? It's, it's, it's tough. It is. It is tough. It's tough to keep these bulls off your back. It's the bulls. It's absolutely the bulls. I think it's going to be really interesting when they lose break tackle. Mm. I mean, I say lose it. They can still take it, but it means they'll be dodging on a... Three plus. Uh, a, a three. So a three plus instead of a two plus. Yeah, though they can roll for a stat, right? And yes. then, um, and then if they get edge, good. And if they don't, they uh, they take dodge. So yeah, but then yeah. they're really super expensive, and it takes ages yeah. and hard to redraft. So. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much of that we'll see. We might just have to get used to making them mobile through hitting things off, yeah. like one does with Saurus, is pairing them up so that one clears the other one off to create that move. But the big weakness of Chos is when you have them both in the same place, because now you've got a place where your bulls can't reach. Yep. So, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. It's going to have to try and get somebody over here somehow, and it's not. Well, good. yeah, I mean, the, the, I'm looking at the claw piece, and is there any way I can, if I can get that down and get the ball to him? But even then, that other ball can sweep across. It's got almost full field coverage. The oh, non-strong yes. one. Almost. There's one space right along the edge, but you don't have a sidestep piece to put in there, except the one down the front, yeah. who is a 3-2 away from being out. Um, and it's still... I mean, if, to listen to what Wolfbach said, it is still a little early. And the stand for me is in a fantastic spot. Yes, it absolutely is. Uh-oh. Right. Well... One in six of the game being over then. No, it isn't. Oof. We're not quite finished yet. And he gets the pow. Oh, Shows second. how much Sean knows about Blood Bowl. It had to be pals. Yeah. <laughs> One Two idiot. times running that had to be pals, and it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Sean, he Wolfpack. Shows how much... <laughs> Shows how much Wolfpack knows. That was a terrible stand firm play. He was guaranteed now, to get he's, he's coming forwards <laughs> through this, isn't he? Yeah. One in nine, yeah. one in 36. <laughs> Beautiful dodging pattern there. Hello, Stor, baby. Um, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Wizard was using the first half to uh, no success, unsuccess, but uh, failure. <laughs> yeah, Wizard. The Wizard worked, but then it's a no the success. Turned... Shall we have a word for that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the, the Wizard worked, but it it was not capitalized upon. Right, every other elf is in trouble. You got one elf. Do you pop it behind the bull, or do you go next to the bull? You go next to the bull. I don't think that's good enough. Oof. Saucy little hard three there, followed by a one in thirty-six. Well, we need another elf then for this. At, at least one. Don't we need two more elves if we stop there? I don't know anything. Well, he's rolled a one, so he ain't getting any more elves. And he's getting pounded. He's got a one-way ticket to pound town right now. Doesn't need any GFIs, does he? Probably. No. I mean, depending what he wants to do with other pieces, but if he puts the strong bull cancelling the dodge in front, then the tackle bull can hit it without go for it. Yeah, that's and a dodge though, so... Just trying to think, is, is Rackle can cancel that, but if this Rackle doesn't cancel it, then it's going to be a GFI somewhere to get the hit on the ball. 
or a dodge, you know, like a two plus somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's a two. I think there's a two plus. So yeah, so we just assist with that, so there isn't. Yeah. There we are. But this means that the ball might not be safe afterwards. Ball oh, on the see. ground against elves. Danger. Well, I can. I'll be in a second. Well, the, I mean, I suppose the big worry about this as well is that it doesn't. Yeah, who's the pickup piece then? Unless you get a nice bounce, the other hobgob isn't getting back really. Okay, hit and foot the go for it. That's ooh needs the reroll. Well, it's wrestle, so. Oh yeah, no, you could make it wrestle. I don't. Ooh, I don't want it dropping there. That's why he hit from that angle, as he wants it pushed up between all of the pieces, doesn't he? Yeah. Where the hobgob can get around the back edge of it. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's about as good as all he could have hoped for there. That gives him a shot now. So now it's on the hobgob to uh, do his hero juice. Although, of course, the other bull can come, can't it? Yeah, I think the, bull, the, the, the hobgob can't really read, so yeah, I just cover it with a bull, I think. I love wrestle ball carriers. <laughs> yeah, for elves, it's not that bad, is it? Because if they don't have an instant recovery, then uh, yeah, they can just end pick up, it up better for you than. They just pick it up and bugger off, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, if they, if they haven't got instant recovery, then you just pick. You should, then they've lost the. They've lost the what they would have had marking the ball, and trapping you with their tackle or whatever, and then you just niche. Woohoo! Yeah, he was always coming there, wasn't he? Yeah. And I guess he just comes in about here. The hobgarb. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's. Well, yeah. The problem here is that it's still just a three plus to pick up. You you can't score, but it's two plus out, three plus pick up, two plus out. It's not. Yeah. Now you can put the hobgob on two go for it. In behind that ball, putting another tackle zone on the ball, and making it a four plus. And the dodge. So. Yeah, there is a dodge in there. So it's 2-2-3 two, two, to get there. I think that's probably worth a try, though. I Otherwise, I I think the elves get this ball away. Although, if they get it away, as I said, they're not scoring, are they? They haven't got anyone easily in range. But they don't want to, as, as Woofy Barky said. Okay, he's going there instead. Yeah, that's quite good. That stops coming out to hit yeah, it's this a, guy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good square. It's really solid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, there's a three-two-two-two two, two to have someone in the end zone to receive this ball once you two-three-two two it to get there. Um, but that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the problem with uphill the ball is right now it's three red dice. Uh, no, hang on. You can bring the catcher in from the back, can't you? One, two, three, four, yeah, five. The, six, the catcher seven, runs eight. around here. He blitzes, yeah. comes around. Yeah, he blitzes he it, around. and then you can get that blodge he piece. If you get the power, he can get into the end zone. And if not, it's a two plus, two plus, two plus to get there. So there you are. That's it. I think just screen. That's what oh, I would he's, do. He's oh, wow. Oh. Oh, okay, so he's doing that to all. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes some sense. I don't like it, though. No, it makes sense, though. At least I understand it. I think it's worse than my plan by a distance, but. I think it's worse than my plan as well. But it could The advantage he's got here is that he's not. He's coming off non tackle, isn't he? Yes. Um, Which is alright. Ooh. There you go, mate. Ah. There you go. Bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Click setting, select concede, crack a beer. <laughs> right, I'm. Oh, uh, sk skip the old chili. Oh, I just, uh, I've got to go and have a. a oh, I've just got to go and get some fresh air, Jimmy. I just feel a bit ill. Be back in a sec. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Glorious toddy. 
Glorious uh, high elf uh, bullshit there. Love it. Oh, and he does fail the 50 50 on the catcher. So he's got eight players to defend a three turn score. And if he can defend this and win the 50 50, he's got a chance, hasn't he? Yep. Cruz has gigantic kick equity, yeah. I mean, that was always going to be the case, wasn't it, with tackle spam? Gigantic dick equity. I don't know about that chip. <laughs> don't enter into those uh, matters, uh, chimp. <laughs> Funnily enough, not the case. If you look at Skuro's picture of the wrestling that he posted, <laughs> there was one of those wrestlers that I thought, I wonder if his like, wrestling name is like Tiny or, or Grower or something, because I'd be very embarrassed to be a wrestler if I... <laughs> Anyway, okay, we start here, you know, time uh, 14 for the chores. Tiny Grover, bang it on. <laughs> yep, that's a good point, Maradam. Yep, if Cruz's internet goes out, you know, um, or he should probably be running out every single turn, and the entire three minutes every single turn. <laughs> Um, Waiting for that, they uh, concede, you know, the, the Russian network failing again. Exactly, yeah, that's that's his greatest ally in this match. <laughs> he just needs Chris's internet to conk out. You know, six minutes, no, seven, he just needs it to go out for seven minutes. That's all he needs. <laughs> Get this win. <laughs> But no, it's tough for him, isn't it? It's definitely tough. It's definitely tough. Yes. He was always going to be tough. I don't know why the people are thinking that it was an 80 20 for uh, Orleans to win this. Wow, did people think that? I don't know. What were the odds on the Dios Discord? Most people, yeah, it was about that. Yeah, a lot of people picked Ori. I well, know. that's the lesson we have learned in this uh, chalice. Don't trust the people in Dios Discord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, they're all full blackguards and bro braggards and blowhards. Um, I think there was a feeling that uh, with Chris, with Crucifer having three brand new rookie chorves, I'm not sure they were bought at the time if people looked at the teams, and Ori having the. Uh, the Wiz, the, a decent pack of Elves with a Wiz against a not particularly brilliant looking Chorf team, that the Elves had a decent shot. Hasn't quite played out that way though, has it? No, P plus like everyone could, every if everyone in Dio's Discord thought it was 51% to Aurelensis, then 100% yeah. vote for Aurelensis, don't they? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh. So, Ooh. Yeah. Wow. This could be big. This is going to be big. Wowee. Again, it's, I mean, we saw this at the very start of the first half. Do the Elves feel they can take any advantage of this misfield? I, I Traditionally, don't. the answer is yes. I, I'm not I sure it is, Jim. Can. I think they might, it might help them stop the score, though. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think this almost rules out the score for, uh, for Cruz, and I think that's the way you've got to look at it, this. Just stopping the score. Using that fail pickup to stop the score. Yeah, I mean, having the, the closer I look at this situation, there is one way you could have a try, but it, it involves you need to get a pow on that that the blocker that's just over the, the one on the far right of all the chores, just over the line. If you could pow that and then get through to the hobgoblin, there's a route for the elves into the backfield to the ball. Yeah, um, but it's, I mean, as you say, it means a massive commitment to doing that. And then you probably can't stop him scoring if it doesn't work. Yeah, I quite like this guard in here and then just take these hits and then maybe this hit. Yeah, well. exactly. If it works, you might be in a position to really do something here. Ooh. Ooh, I'd be getting tempted, Ooh, Jim. I'd be getting it? really tempted now. Yep. There's instant apple for Cruz. 
in stark contrast to Aurelensis's absolute uh, refusal to Apo. Now, if you get the second power here, straight, and then you power the claw piece, yeah, then you've got an assist to blitz the hobgob. Yeah, he does. Oh, one more pow, and this this has to be what you try, surely. No reroll here, though. Doesn't get it. Yeah. No. Oh, can Punishment! And I pull this. Yeah, yeah, you've got to up on now. Yeah, 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 at this time, I mean... This is it. <laughs> uh, he didn't want to. Uh, in terms of why he didn't apo the death, Dujardin. <laughs> uh, he thought a 50% chance of having that player back was not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was he very was, early. And, and, it was you know, very, very early. There's a good chance a positional gets badly hurt. And then and it's, as it it's happens, 50%. Yeah. 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 It's 50% is too early. Like, meh. As I told you, I would have thrown it either at the Badly Hurt or at the KO of the uh, Blitzer. Yeah. One where it was guaranteed to have impact in-game. I will go for the... Whatever happens after the Badly Hurt. The Badly Hurt, it was a lineman. I'll yeah. take that one. But anything yeah, else? I, yeah. I mean, it was that was a hard piece to throw your Apo at in a game like this. But I still might have done it just for a number, just for a body. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. Well, not for the Apo or some guy 113. That's the thing, isn't it? Not for the Apo. So. Yes, absolutely. He's got he's got the chaff into range, just in case he has to. <laughs> so you know. But uh, yeah, he'll be wanting to get it to a bull, won't he? Yeah, I mean, again, very very professional. He's got his four rerolls. He knows he's fine in overtime if he reaches it, but he'd rather not put something in range as an option. Then, as you said, probably I might even. Move one bull upfield and then hand off to Tother. But I, I don't know. That strength one's doing a lovely job blocking things up where it is right now, isn't it? Well, first he needs to pick up the ball from the floor, which has been a, a big struggle for Crucifer. <laughs> also, yes, the fact that the elves can cannot score at any level gives a lot of peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's going up with a bull first. Nine squares away. Not coincidental. No. Almost Volk, almost. <laughs> and yep, he's G5 with it. And that's it, that's it. Uh, I know the, the, Yeah, the hobgob is the. I was going to say, that hobgob is within range. That's the one I'd be trying to score on. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the perfect turn and the perfect turn order from Crucifer. Yep. He's going to end the second half with four rewards. <laughs> yeah, he is. And, no. a, and a fifth chalice, sixth chalice, twelfth chalice. Oh, he takes the hand off to the ball. Wow, I didn't expect that. I thought he would, if anything, pop a little pass to the hobgob. Yep, I am surprised. And now, Aurelensis is, 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 is suddenly... Suddenly, shot. he's got half a chance, hasn't he? Yeah, just needs a one die just to move that hobgob, and then uh, he can certainly uh, stop this score, surely. Well, I mean... <clears throat> Shame he didn't get any There are more than a few uh, scoring threats. Yeah. I mean, I mean, his best option is grab the ball and throw it very, very far. <laughs> yeah. Which is easy to do. The problem is he hasn't got rerolls for the, you know, if it's a one, uh, you know, or a four. I like, it, you know, if it's not a four plus on the pickup, like it's hard. It's yeah, hard that's one, very so. difficult because. Okay, that where, where are the comments about the quick equity about the Cruzeros using a reroll there? No, no, nobody. No, no nobody in chat. What the, what the hell is this? I think that was a well, fine instant reroll. I think he's still kick equity dominant, so... Yeah, and if, and <laughs> well, if you make that hat catch, you score almost... That's it, no, no, the, getting the ball there in the bullies. He has the sure hands next time if he needs to. And it was an easy, more or less easy, one die on... Uh, there we are, all over. Wow, doesn't re-roll it. Yep, Re overtime with zero re-rolls is better than no overtime, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I... Whatever that plan was, I didn't like it. I thought no, that was. I, I didn't like that dodge. Just one D him, got, base the ball, stand yeah. up, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lob it. Yep. Yeah. 
that. Do one in names to reach extra time. Yeah, it won't be the having to go for the ball, yeah. If any of them uh, fails, we go to extra time. If not, Crucifer wins the sixth chalice. Yeah, unbelievable. Incredible. <laughs> Surely Blood Bowl 2's greatest player. Yeah, there can be no real argument, can there? Oh, I don't he know also won the Blitz Pit, so yeah, it's not like, you know... Uh... I mean, there's an argument that Ducky, you know, is similarly extremely good, lots of chalices, but I think Crucifer's got a right to say no, I got more. Big Mully D with his win rate in CCL, k with his all-around achievements, but um, yeah, when you look at Cruz, he has won Blitz Pit, he's won CCL loads of times, he's got a great record. Ooh, win rate in Ooh, Chalice. Ooh, there, there is extra time. There is overtime. No. One in six. Oh, maybe, yeah. One still in six. the go for it, Jim. There's the tripwire. Drama until the end. Oh, it this morning. Oh, my God. And I told you I'd all that tripwire. Oh, my oh. God. Okay, cancel the last. Cancel the GG. Cancel the GG. <laughs> yep, rescind the GG, Yori. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Genius by Ori, yeah. That was a double reroll equity swing there, wasn't it? <laughs> double equity swing for Ori Lensis by not, him not using the reroll. Baiting the reroll usage from Ori from Cruz. And he's won the toss. And his KO player's back. Oh my god. All of a sudden he's got nine players and he's getting the ball. West Young. Do you go for the one turn? No. But go for the two turn. Or well, not even the two turn. Just score when you can, isn't it? As safe as possible. Safer drive as possible. There you go. This is Andrew. This is the movie. The movie we were talking about. A group of regular guys from the fishing village in Ulthuan coming, you know, for the final, beating big team after big team. <laughs> Trying to save the fishery after the elk seed. <laughs> can Dakar and Patel? Yeah, you've got lots of options, haven't you? I think you just score when you can. Blitz this guy. Blitz this asshole with my. Well, maybe it's just the rookie. Blitz the rookie with my e blow. You've got plenty of time. Just, uh, just play normal blood ball, isn't it? The fact that you can just score at any point gives you a lot of freedom, doesn't it? Yes. Like, it's so hard to defend against elves that don't have to score. Like, you know, don't have to stall, sorry. Yeah. And suddenly that decision not to use a reroll looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? It was genius, yeah. Or uh, for the chess here, for another lenses. He obviously, he knows things we don't know. Yeah. Nine is. nine elves against a dwarf team with at least three chorfs that aren't that great. Hobgobs that aren't super special. This looks very possible, doesn't it? Absolutely yeah. possible, yeah. Where are you going here, Dimmy? Are you going straight oh, down the okay. middle or are you... Cancel the dream! Cancel the dream! <laughs> oh. What a fantastic... Are you pulling uh... back, I was going to say. GG <laughs> is back on. <laughs> huh? What a fantastic coach, exclusive you know, that show, show the the play with the Orioles is not rolling and he played in the overtime blitz. Fantastic. Everything uh, of course, planned. Chorf's very, very uh, short, slow on movement here for anyone that is interested. Yes, that strength five bull can get directly under where the ball's landing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's the first thing I look into. It, the just feel that bull. might be relevant to mention, so I thought I'd uh, I'd mention it. Mm. Now, surely this is the rackle hit on the uh, outside elf, and then both the sure hands gob and the strength five bull come for that. And yeah, somewhere in Wales. Block, no, he's doing it with Wales. the bull. Yeah, okay. there's, there's no there's no block on the elf, so... Yeah, okay. But, I mean, a 1 in 9 there means nothing under the ball to catch it, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, would, have blitzed, I, would, have... I would have blitzed with a block, not the wrestle. Yes. Yeah, I would have blitzed with one of the hobgobs, definitely, so that the ball definitely made it to that square. Yeah. But a 1 in 9 didn't cost yeah. me one square of movement. Because if, if you don't... Yes. If it lands and bounces backwards away from a ball that's the other side of it, then the elves just pick it up and throw it to someone and they're gone. I mean, it's not that simple, but you know what I mean. Might be the biggest five plus of all time. Extra five bull. 
Rolf well, if the ball catches them, we're done, aren't we? We're surely. No, I mean, the elves can get back, and there is the... Mm. Anyway, can, blitz, I, huh? can someone clip that blitz and send it to Artemis, just in case he wasn't thinking... <laughs> was <laughs> 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 look, Artemis, so you here, do you bend the hobgoblin run around the back of this yes. line of scrimmage? to get in the way of the hitty blitzer, Jim. Yes, yes, you yeah, have me to, too. don't you? Certainly with the rackle piece I do, and maybe with the other hobgob too. I just shield this bull. I mean, I suggest just with a little screen now because the bull is a strength five, you know, that is, it's like, he doesn't care about the elves. Yeah, like, he's, he's not bothered. He's <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yep. So here we come. So he did yep. go for the GFI to lock it down. Ooh, exactly the sort of position. Exactly the positions I expected those hobgobs to go to. And the rackle piece comes in and completes the merry hell of doom. Oh, yeah. four there flash. we are. He stacked the GFI. Hit to do the GFI. Now the good news is the bull didn't catch it. The bad news is it's in the the I would say the worst square for it to land in. Yeah, probably. Even one backwards of there, you can pick it up round the far side of the bull, can't you? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. That's the, definitely the hardest square to fetch it out from. Yeah. Let's not forget, even if you grab the ball, you are in the area of the bull anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, which is why he's not trying to do anything, he's just trying to get on top of these hobgobs. And I presume pull just about every elf back before he tries to pull, pick this ball up. This is a brutally difficult situation, isn't it? Because of the blitz. Yeah. Everyone having tackle is disgusterous. Yes, Pedro Jack, this was a blitz. Yes, the other yeah, push. The, the, I think the blitz is okay, but you can just push him to here, can't you? And there was no need to... He could have still, still had the two plus dodge out, so... It was the push direction rather than the blitz. Hmm. Yeah, it has trapped one elf in there completely. Mm. Um, the others can all still get away once the one at the you know one step back moves. Um, but I don't love that square in front of the hobgob. I would have been directly in front of him because there's a diagonal dodge out on that I wouldn't have left. Mm. Gets the three plus. Oh, hands it off to him. He's got ah. <laughs> Why you know, not? The, the guy, the guy. Look, I'm a more or less a rookie. This is not my thing. You are the <laughs> star of the team. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it was a one in nine. It's not that huge a risk, and it's a much better place for it to be. Yeah. But I, I heard Prowls were, were good because of the nerves of steel. Turns out you just don't even need it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, three plus with a uh, one in nine. Ah, oh, Jim, but you need to put yourself right in the middle of a crowd of men, um, which is a place I know you love to be. Uh, and then you'll find nerves of steel is um, is as useful as a big jar of poppers. Oh God! Well, if you are surrounded by men that want to punch you, yes, you're going to need nerves of steel. The fact that you got that reference makes me really wonder. <laughs> Dude. Maybe he should have fought two out with this guy. You know, like after he blocked the other diagonal, maybe he should have taken yeah. this to just get in range, right? If it works, you, you're yeah, back maybe in. so. It, yeah. As you said, it's only a what four two. That's not it's just yeah. slightly worse than a coin flip, and yeah. it would give him a real option that would terrify Crucifer. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that. It, that would have been really threatening. No, I'm all about that. I think that was a really good idea, Jimmy. He could have. He could have even gone to the sideline or like close to it, couldn't he? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead, he just gets powered, but he can sidestep up to there, I guess. One step closer. One step closer. <laughs> and he did use somebody's action. Yes, it does hold a dwarf back. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. And had he not been powered, he would have. He would have. That was a great swear to sidestep two to get punched again, and then hold another one's up, and then you know, like, like uh, I don't know if you saw <laughs> my BBSL game where I just hit some bloody sidestep who just could not be powered, and that that could happen, couldn't it? You know, he could have just yeah, he yeah, could have eaten we, all three players' actions there. Yes, one of those awful moments where you're dancing with an elf with your entire team, and it still refuses to die. Yeah. And then when it goes down, it's never even a stun. They just get straight back up and goes, let's do it again. <laughs> Not even a bloody stun. 
It's like one of my kids, you know, you, you do some wonderful treat for them and they finish and they go, that was great. Again, again. <laughs> Gonna surf the ball this turn. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It's it's not easy. I mean, it's possible. It's very possible. Yeah. It's a big commitment. Yeah. And with only one re-roll, <laughs> still needing two sets of pushes to get it there and you know I, I'm much more tempted depends where this other ball goes Ugh. yeah that's the right place for it to go of course it is like it's looking pretty strong because you haven't got many good options yeah, you that aren't doing anything that. else I mean you can blitz this hobble and move Ooh, over here okay. with team. yeah he's gone that's, back there interesting yeah that's a slight I think positional error from Cruz but I've been wrong before. Yeah, go to the right, says K Fog. Yeah. It does seem very open. And you get a smash a hobble with Mighty Blow. Yeah, all of that. And a bowl of grits. Andy hasn't even followed with him, so that gives you another another guy who's a bit further forward. Yeah, this is He still has the sure hands hobble to maybe cover a little aside. Yeah, I think Whoa. he's gonna GFI once or twice with him. I think he kind of has to. Oh, if only the lineman that is up standing onto that plus strength chorf was a catcher, I'd be really tempted to um, to do a one in nine, hit that strength four, and bugger off with that catcher with the ball in his hands. But it's a lineman, so it hasn't got the pace. But that's why that hobgoblin's dropping back to cover exactly that. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to smash this uh, smash this hobble, haven't you? Yeah, you have to, surely assist with this the crappy catcher who's leveled up for his next season in open <laughs> yeah. and, then and here I don't hate time. withdrawing a bit more at this point try and suck the dwarves even further up into your field maybe no, no I, I think I think push forward so it was so like three back oh he's double oh my god no Oh, well. fucking, don't double one it. That was stupid, old yeah. Francis. Yeah, terrible. terrible, oh my God. terrible idea. What a rookie mistake! <laughs> no. Really shouldn't have done that. No, that was that was a terrible decision. Terrible. Decision so three out of oh, it's he. Do you know quietly, Cruz has gone from four re rolls to one. Yeah. Did did he sit down and snack on a few? <laughs> Yeah, he had some. He had some bad dice rolls at Cruz, didn't he? He stirred them into his tea. So, are you going to put your last re-roll into a three-quarter shot of winning this game? Well, fifty-fifty shot. Mm. Yes, because if it picks up, you win, and if it doesn't, that's when you face that fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. Ooh, that's an interesting Maybe. call, isn't it? Maybe. Probably. I, I think know. I probably do. Yeah, I think I would, but um, I haven't won five chalices, so... No, no, neither have I. <laughs> that gym between us, our chalice count on this commentary team is... Um, zero. It's not many, is it? Yeah. And if you add me, you are, it's also zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we can double that number by adding... <laughs> well, I was including you, Femir, actually. Yeah. I'd, I'd added us all, yeah. Yeah. We should have got Kefo in, and then we would have had some credibility. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Jeff. I've probably qualified for five, yeah. Oh, here it is. K4 to himself. Well, there we are. He, he felt he needed to add that, that credibility to what the nonsense we're talking. So please welcome to the booth, Chalice winning coach, K4. Hello. Michael. Very good, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> Would you re roll the, the pickup? Yes. Yeah. There you go. 75% to win the tallies. Yes. In it to win it. Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? <laughs> and if you problem, fail, if you're still in a good it, position. So. But if he fails, it's still elves. So it's only a couple of two pluses and three pluses on the elves that get the ball again and runs away. Yeah. And they do still have a reroll. Yeah. So I think you have to go for the win. Yeah, I, I I liked it, but then I haven't won five chalices. <laughs> I'd say, knowing Cruz, he probably doesn't even need to. 
He's very concerned. Oh, now you've got to re-roll this. Oh. No. <laughs> yep, so he re-rolls oh. that. Now you, now you definitely don't re-roll the pickup. No, no you don't. No. <laughs> no, no, I don't think uh, he's going to No, if you fail it, out. you let it go, don't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> no, Cruiser doesn't fail things. That's uh, for lesser people. Look at that professionalism, even putting in the hobgob for the bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you yeah, anyway, it looked pretty good now. He gets oh, the there six. you go. Rolls a six, done. Boom. Oh, well. Well done, oh, Crucifer. Well. I mean, I already had a crack in run, but I I would say, Jimmy, I do think Crucifer deserved it tonight. I think he coached slightly the better. Yeah. Yeah, I think he deserves a standing ovation for his uh, sixth challenge uh, Absolutely. victory here. I'm yeah, happy to take my, take my hat off to the greatest player of the Blood Bowl 2 era. Yeah. Which and we now know uh, who that is, because of course the era is coming to an end. So it's <laughs> turning off next month. It uh, might even be one of his best titles that compared to some of the other teams he's yeah. won with. Yeah, that wasn't a particularly great team. So it wasn't like he was punching down there. That was a very even match. Well, and now I have a challenge uh, victory also, you know, Faimir was playing there. Zero <laughs> SPP in all the games, absolutely useless all the cap. <laughs> Didn't do anything, and I still won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely glorious. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Um, well, there, yeah, there you go, that's it. Um, what can I say? Congrats, Chris. Yeah, Chris did play great, didn't he? Absolutely fantastic he did. play by Chris. He played really, really good. Um, and Ori, you know, Ori had some chances, didn't he? You know, and uh, Ori can be very good. Uh, Ori has also played very well. I mean, yeah. he the did things that. we can add with, like, small points here and there, and in a game that long, you know. Yeah, the touchdown, I mean, bound to happen. I had a different plan, but I, his plan was pretty solid for that touchdown in the second half. It was a really creative way he did it, and it looked nice, and you know he deserved that TD. It moved the ball around reasonably well after the somewhat um, aggressive push down the flank. Um, I thought the, the whiz play, I don't know in my heart I'd have pulled it, but if you were going to pull the whiz, that was the way to try it. Um, you know, We did spot some ways that could have worked out well, but wasn't to be at 50% shot after the, the push didn't happen for him so yeah there you go um that's it thank you very much find me at pc and ptk for a little bit glorious thank you very much guys for coming on always a pleasure a time to pop in in a uh, crucifer's uh, stream to congratulate him glorious and, yeah, uh, actually, while all is here, let, I'll say exactly that. The Wiz wasn't great. I'm not sure it was the great shot, but um, I thought you coached really well all the way to the final. I thought you coached well in the final, Oriolensis, but I, I have to say I agree with you. I do think Cruz probably deserved that on balance. Not that that's important in Blood Bowl or even relevant most games, but, but it's still something that we should occasionally think about. Yeah. Um, but a, a really nice final, really well coached from both sides. Nothing hugely terrible from either. Um, just some dice. Yeah, and there you go. As Wolfpark says, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's like he wasn't gonna get he wasn't gonna get an obvious ball into two, you know, two to no. score, was he? So no. it was no. always gonna be a bit dodgy, and and that was a fine shot, wasn't it? So there. Yeah, go. and at that that had that one tight one die been a five or a six, then as we said, it was very very simple. Even with the push, it was still we worked it out just about a forty six percent play yeah. once that push had gone in. So it, it certainly wasn't a long shot, um, and it was probably game changing um, but to the point of maybe even altering the outcome if it works so yeah i don't i don't think it was terrible i'm just absolutely not sure I, might, for our I mean tried to hold on to it um but what a what a cracking final what a great chalice it's been and the next one oh it's coming any day isn't it jim it is yeah yeah the season ends in a couple of days and then and then and as will be the bbsl so then we'll have the bbsl playoffs and then another the third season of bbsl and that'll be glorious and here, the, is uh, Cruz, here is Cruz raiding the pack. It is Cruz. Oh, the man Cruz himself, comes on in. The legend. The legend, yeah. He is an absolute legend, isn't he? So, yeah, congrats, he is. Cruz. Uh, and I, I hope he's here to hear me say what I said while that was going on. Um, definitely, for my money, the greatest player of the Blood Bowl 2 era. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I don't think anything can happen before Blood Bowl 2 is turned off that will change that. No, you can't. Yeah, really. I don't think anyone can uh, argue about that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
So congratulations, really well played. I didn't think there was much he did at all that I would even question. It was great. It was more working out, okay, why is that as good as I think it is? Ah, that's why. Really controlled, aggressive, but conservative all at the same time. Beautiful turns, beautiful shapes almost every time. Just lovely performance. Blood Bowl as it should be played. Glorious. What a, and what an order to end the YouTube video on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.